So we're going to do one of my favorite builds to do inside of this game. On the spirit, if you can't already tell what character we're going to do it on. But we're doing Slugmaster on the spirit. And if you don't know what Slugmaster spirit is, it uses perks to make healing slower, tear radius bigger, and also we have the third seal to make it so that they can't see each other when they are down. So they're going to have to go looking for them along with the, the typical spirit OP add-ons. So what we got here is we got color phobia. Survivors inside of my terror radius have a 50% penalty to healing progression speed. Then we got third seal. So when I smack a survivor, they get hit with the blindness effect until the totem is broken and I can hit all four survivors with it. Then we got distressing. Increases my terror radius by 26%. So my terror radius goes off of my husk. So if my husk is somewhere and I'm going somewhere else, the terror radius is still around the husk until I come out of my Yamoka's haunting. Then we got Sloppy Butcher, so considerably increases bleeding frequency and gives on the mangled effect when I smack a survivor, makes healing take longer, along with color phobia. And then for add-ons, we got the Yakuyoke amulet, moderately increases haunting duration, haunting movement speed, and haunting power recovery. Then we got the Wakizashi Saya, which moderately increases reappearance duration and moderately increases reappearance movement speed. Allows me to do a nice long lunge if I need to do it. And then for an offering, we're not going to go to the game. We're going to let it choose whatever it wants and we're going to use a black ward just so I can keep my eye on so I don't go using up everything. And we're going to go slug some people. Preschool is not a bad map, but the totem kind of looks like... I think I can deal with it. I think I can deal with it. Oh, that sprint burst. Ah. Uh. Hi there. <laughs> Ah, oh, the mind games, I love them. I knew he ran past me. I just didn't hit into him, so I thought that he did something else. Hi. I shouldn't have stopped running. All right, let's go hit him down. Let's go hit him. Oh, I thought there was a pallet there. Oh, you're... Whoa! I could have fucking hit him. Oh, he's got balanced landing. Okay. I've hit three people so far. Only one person knows where that guy's down. I don't even know where he's down. <laughs> ah! They both ran past the totem. All right, there's another one down. I can't let them get this totem. I wonder where he crawled to. Shit.
<laughs> All right. Oh, come on. Right side. One second. <laughs> nice. They're survivor friends. That's how they keep knowing where each other is. Sh should have said that at the beginning. I'll let you guys die on the floor. That's the whole point of this build. Let's just go ahead and kick this. He's dead. He might be back on that. Yeah. Hi there. Drop you. I wonder where this last guy is. What are you doing? Oh my god, are you fucking serious? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep down you guys like this. Nice. Alright, now to find the last guy. I just heard crows. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I found you. Now we can go ahead and start hooking people. And if you fucking Kobe, I swear to God.
Just let him die on the floor. Like I said before, Hatch spawns 80% of the time in here. Nice. I got max still deviousness. It doesn't really matter if they die on the hook or not. Why am I getting bad him so much? There's two videos where I got bad him twice in a row. That totem's not too bad, and the totem that was here before isn't too wasn't too bad either, so. No one's got decisive, and they're not survivor friends, none of them, which is good. There's another guy in there. Ah! Hi. Someone's on my totem. Fucking piece of shit. He got out the window before I can get him. Ah! Oh, there goes another one. Wait, 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 wait. Is he gonna disconnect too? Well, I'm just gonna end this voice. I'm already tired of this. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Stupid ass fucking shit. Hurry up and get that gen and get out of my goddamn game right now. No, you're finding this fucking hatch. Let's go for a little walk. It's probably in the basement like it usually fucking is. Like it usually fucking is. 80% of the go goddamn time, it's in that goddamn basement. Uh, maybe. I don't know if these guys survive or friends. I didn't check. But I guess we'll see. From the second that I have all of them hit, and they start doing some, some trippy-ass shit, knowing where each other is, and my totem's in a fucking stupid-ass spot. Oh, hi. All right. I'm going to hit you. Where'd this guy run off to? I kind of want to stay on this side. Why didn't you? I don't even know. I could have went to that pallet. The hell are you expecting there? Me not to know where you are? Ah! 
is gonna smack you down. There's one person that's not hit by this. This is where the pressure starts coming in. I have to start putting a lot of pressure on these guys right now. They're both here. Where did that scratch mark come from? Now I go and hit this guy and I have everyone hit. <laughs> well, I just reset that one. Oh wait, no, this is the last guy I need to hit. Oh. <laughs> that dead heart though. <laughs> I like I like that one. I like that one. That dead heart was nice. <coughs> well, there goes one. he be <laughs> there he is nice that's what I want to see in a slug build since none of them are survivor friends they didn't know exactly where each other was other than the fact that they saw them on the like he saw her on the ground there the entire time that was nice I liked it nice quick clean game to end off from that shitty ass first one that took forever and then that second one that was stupid as shit. <laughs> nothing else the break and nothing else the the kick or smack. Nice. This is what I like to see in a slug build. This is what I like. <laughs> I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. No thighs. Girl, you don't know about me, so me. get off my fucking D. My Born D. and raised in the dot. This is real as you gon' see. You see. Girl, you don't know about me, so me. get off.